Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing my spring clean and decorate with me. It has taken everything in my willpower to not film this like four weeks ago because I am just ready for spring. The weather is really not quite there yet, but I'm making it happen. And I'm also going to be including some DIYs. They are Dollar Tree DIYs. I was planning on just doing one, but when I walked in the store, I just got like all these ideas. And I have at least two, maybe three, and we'll just kind of see where I go with it. We are going to be getting some cleaning motivation first, decorating ideas, and we are going to welcome spring into our homes. So let's get to it. So as usual, I am starting out in my kitchen and getting everything tidied up. I typically start in my kitchen because this is my domino chore, which if you're new here, that is the chore that motivates me to keep going and just kind of builds my cleaning momentum. I also wanted to say ever since decluttering several areas in our home, which I've been sharing in my decluttering series recently, I feel like it has truly helped our homes not get as messy. Now it still gets messy for sure because this is real life, but it has just made things much more manageable. And if you haven't seen that series, I'll link it up above and below for you guys. There's tons of motivation in there, but I just cannot get over what a huge difference it has made and I'm not even done decluttering it. So I am super excited for today's video because it's a collab with my friend Brianna Kay. She and I have collabed a few times in the past, but she is the ultimate boss mom and I am always so inspired by her in so many ways. She just has such a kind heart and she shares similar content on her channel like cleaning, homemaking, and decorating just like I share here on my channel. But if you are not already following her, you guys have to go check her out. You will absolutely love her. She is sharing a spring clean and decorate as well and she is going to be decorating her foyer, kitchen, living room, and kids room. So she is decorating several areas in her home and she is also going to be sharing some DIYs and recipes as well. Brianna has a spring cleaning series coming up on her channel and she also shares tons of amazing printables on her blog. So she just has so much to offer. If you guys are not already following her, you have to go check her out. And when you go watch her video, definitely let her know that Amanda sent you and I will have all of her information down in the description box below. And like I said, do not forget to let her know that I sent you. So once I had all of the dishes pulled out of the sink, I started cleaning it with dish soap and water. And I was talking to one of you guys in the comments recently and it came up that when I clean my sink, I don't always pull my sink caddy out to clean it as well. And that was something that kind of drove her nuts. And I totally get it because we all have our own way of cleaning things and just kind of like little things that bother us. But it made me wonder, what are some things that you see in these cleaning videos that kind of drive you nuts? I will not take offense to it as long as you don't say it in a really mean way. But here I am just pulling out my sink caddy to clean behind it. So this one is for you, Karen.
Next, I am just wiping down my counters with my Caldrea spray in the scent Sea Salt Neroli. It is still my all-time favorite scent. I just love this one. And because I've raved about it so much, you guys have told me that y'all have tried it, and I love hearing that you guys love it too. But let me know in the comments if you guys have a favorite cleaning scent. Moving into the living room, I started tidying up the floor and also the couch and taking the pillow covers off so that I could put spring ones on. And I always get questions from you guys about where I get my pillow covers from and they are mostly always from Amazon. But I will have the link to my Amazon favorites linked down in the description box below in case if you wanna check them out. So while I dusted off the surfaces, I wanted to start taking down some of the items that I knew I wouldn't be keeping up for spring and just kind of prepping the space for the spring decor that I would be adding. And then once I had all that done, I just did a quick vacuum. And if you've been here for a while, you probably haven't seen my Dyson in a while. That's because I have just felt like my shark vacuum has been picking up things so much better. So that's just the one that I have been going for lately. But in one of my next spring cleaning videos on my spring cleaning series, I think I'm going to try to clean this vacuum out and just see if if it works any better once it's completely taken apart and cleaned out. So be on the lookout for that video and wish me luck. So now that everything is all nice and clean in the main living area and the kitchen and everything, I'm going to quickly show you some of the DIYs that I had in mind and then we will get to decorating this space. So first thing, you are going to need some of these little signs. You can just get however many you want. I grabbed three of them. They have this writing on them, but I'm gonna show you how to actually remove the writing. And then you have kind of like a clean slate. These are from Dollar Tree and then these are also from Dollar Tree and they are just like these little tiny mini clothespins. And then you will also need some nail polish remover and then paper towel, or this is just like an old rag. I did forget to grab this, but I just need to go grab my glue gun as well. And then this is optional. I happened to just find this when I was at my local craft store, but it's just like a piece of scrapbook paper. However, these are like little cards. They're not cut out or anything, so I'm just going to end up cutting these out. But my original plan was to get cardstock and just print some things off. And I'm basically going to attach them to here. 
but I thought, oh my gosh, these are just perfect, and I feel like they're pretty much the perfect size. So I'm just going to use these, but again, if you can't find something like this or you want something more personalized, you can totally just use pictures or you can also just print something off. So first I am just cutting down the pictures to fit onto the signs and if you don't find paper like this you can always just print off your own onto cardstock or just use actual pictures that you have. But I love this DIY because just by changing out the piece of paper you can use this all year round and it's so so easy. So next you're going to take your nail polish remover and start wiping the words right off of the sign and it will come off so incredibly easy. Next, you're going to hot glue the mini clothespins onto your sign and just keep in mind that there is a small wood hanger on the back. So if you're going to be using this, then make sure that you attach the clothespins to the top. And last, all you need to do is just add your picture and that is it. It is so incredibly simple. All right, so for the second DIY, you are just going to be needing three of these mason style jars from the Dollar Tree. Also this long basket, it doesn't matter what color it is, we are going to paint it. I also have some sponge brushes along with a regular paintbrush. And I'm not sure if I'll need this, but I just wanted to go ahead and get it anyway. And then I also got some acrylic white paint. This stuff is chalk paint. Now these are not from the Dollar Tree, but you can pick them up pretty inexpensively at your craft store. I think Walmart has them as well but I got a black and then they didn't have any white at this time, they were all out, so I just got like as close to white as I could. And then I also just picked some pretty flowers that I found at the Dollar Tree as well. So for this DIY, this is completely optional, but I wanted a shorter basket and I also didn't really like the look of the handles. So I used a box cutter to cut it shorter. You could also use scissors for this if you decided to cut it down as well, but either way, just be careful. And then as you can see, some of the edges were a little bit messy and so I just went through and used scissors to kind of smooth out the top. But keep in mind, this is going to be a rustic DIY and so it really does not have to be perfect at all. Next, I'm going to take my black chalk paint and using a sponge brush, I am just painting on one layer onto the outside and also on the inside, which the inside is totally optional, but I just felt like it gave it a more finished look and it really didn't take much more time at all. Next, you're going to take your white chalk paint and just paint one very light coat onto the outside and the top of your mason jars. And you can of course use whatever color paints you want. I just really like the black and white. And then once the black paint has dried, I'm just going over the outside of the basket with the white paint with a very, very light coat just to give it a little bit more dimension. Last, I moved on to the flowers and you just want to clip them to your desired height. And I'm also removing the leaves. That is just kind of a personal choice, but I just wanted a little bit less bulky look. So that's why I decided to go for that option.
And then this is also an optional step, but to elevate the look of just like the simple Dollar Tree flowers, I'm just lightly brushing some white acrylic paint onto the flower petals. And something else you can do that I completely forgot about is you can of course add twine to the very top of the cup and I would just either wrap it around and tie it off or wrap it around and hot glue it. I ended up forgetting about my plan for this and I actually liked how it looked without it, but that's just another option to keep in mind if you wanted. But you guys will have to let me know which of these DIYs was your favorite and if you make any, I would love for you to tag me over on Instagram Instagram at this crazy life vlog. Next, I just started cleaning up the mess from my Dollar Tree DIYs and I also wanted to replant my new aloe vera plant. And as you guys saw, I used my chalk paint to paint the outside of a Dollar Tree planter. So that is a great option if you want a more neutral planter look, but on a budget. So if you are an OG here on my channel, lots of these items may seem very familiar to you. A lot of these home decor pieces were from previous years and I only shop for the pieces that I truly loved, but most of my decor is from either Michaels, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, or it's been thrifted. But if you are wondering about something specific, just ask in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. So you'll notice as I was decorating that I was unsure a lot and several of the spaces took me lots of tries to figure out what looked right. I always love showing y'all this process because when you see people always placing items perfectly the first time, it's really not always like that. So if you are decorating, don't get discouraged. Just keep moving things around until they feel right. Move them into different rooms. Just style them a little bit different. Try different heights. Try pairing things differently. A majority of the time, it is just kind of trial and error. So keep at it and you will find the perfect way to style things. So I don't typically decorate too much for holidays, mostly just the seasons and then also Christmas of course. But another thing that I do when I'm looking for decor is I look at how versatile that piece of decor is. Like I just kind of ask myself, is this something that I could use for more than one season? Is this something that I could use for more than one room? Is it something that I could kind of change up and use in a different way? And I've been kind of trying to do my decor like this for probably about a year or so now. And I feel like I'm kind of creating like a capsule wardrobe but for decor, if that makes any kind of sense and it really helps stretch your money and also your space by doing that. So I hope that makes sense to you guys, but I feel like that's something that I have kind of a little bit unintentionally doing and then once I realized I was doing it, I'm like completely intentional about it and it has just made the biggest difference in just not feeling like I have to hold on to so, so much decor. But speaking of decor, there is lots of decor that I actually need to go through and get rid of, just any that I won't be using anymore. So let me know if that would be kind of like a fun giveaway idea for you guys. I have thought about doing that for probably about a year now, just kind of going through my decor and giving away a box of gently used decor. If that's something that you're interested in, 
let me know down in the comments but if i do that i think i would probably end up doing that over on my vlog channel so if you're not already subscribed over there be sure that you check that out and i always have the link down in the description box and it is also called this crazy life vlog so you can also just search for it and find it that way as well So y'all know I love buffalo check. I just think it is such a cute pattern, but I feel like it kind of clashes with our living room rug. So I am just adding it over into our foyer and that way I can still enjoy it, but I feel like it kind of clashes with my rug. If you guys disagree, you'll have to let me know. So after adding the final touches, I finally got everything how I wanted and now I cannot wait to decorate my bedroom and also the hallway up by my office. I will be filming that and that video will be coming in a few weeks. And let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a spring home tour or if you would rather pass on that. Either way is totally fine. I just always want to share the content that you guys want to see. But if I do share a spring home tour, I'm kind of thinking I might end up sharing it over on the vlog channel just because I have so much content planned for this channel that the schedule is just really full right now. But if you guys let me know that that's something you'd want to see, then I'll definitely let you guys know when I share that. And also stay tuned for a yummy recipe that I'll be sharing here in just a minute. So it is about two days later and I actually had a new wreath coming in that I had ordered and I love it. I can't wait to show you guys. And then I'm also going to share a really quick, super easy and simple cookie recipe. This is a lemon cookie recipe and it is gluten-free and dairy-free, but it does not taste like it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those things next. I 
I also just found these tulips. They are live tulips. So there's like some water down at the bottom, but they are like supposed to live for a long time. And these were only $12 in like this case and everything all set up like this at our local Costco. So I am super, super excited to see these bloom. These cookies are so, so yummy. I cannot believe they are gluten and dairy free. I also think that you could add even a drop less sugar than I even did. I think that was really the only thing that I changed in the original recipe, but I will link the original recipe down below as well. You guys have to make these. They are so, so good. Every single person in our family loved them. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this spring clean and decorate with me and got lots of cleaning motivation as well as some spring decorating ideas. And I also hope you enjoyed the DIYs and the recipe as well. Do not forget forget to go check out Bree's video and tell her that I sent you. I hope you guys have the best day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.